I'm a pro brewer, and under this black cloth are five random Amazon beer gadgets that I've never used before. Let's give them a try. And up. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, Michael said when I lift this baby off to be careful because they might fall over. I'm not sure if they're dainty beer gadgets or what, but here we go. What do we have here? Is this a sink drain? What? What is going on? Okay. All right. All right. Left to right. Here we go. We have a draft top through which they market drink topless. Always good advice. I've heard of these. I do like the concept of turning a can into what feels like a draft beer. Gadget number two is pop the top bottle opener. I mean, bottle openers just work. Why do you need to reinvent the wheel? We'll find out. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, in business, they say, don't find a solution in search of a problem. Is this one of these examples? Uh, makes beer taste better. The Sonic Foamer for craft beer lovers. For craft beer lovers, of course. Let's see what happens. What is going on here? The black and tan beer layering tool. The perfect black and tan. It looks like a sink drain. It's as easy as it looks. Whatever that means. We'll read the instructions as we dive into it. Just to be totally honest, we had to do a little editing right there because this next one apparently came out of the freezer. So I'm very intrigued. I don't know if you stick it in the beer. I'm not sure what you do. Very nice packaging. The Kolea Beer Chiller Sticks. All right, we're gonna dive right in, I guess. So we've introduced these guys, the Kolea Beer Chiller Sticks. I'm assuming that the use case for this is you bought warm beer off the shelf and you need to make it cold really quickly, or you didn't have your beer in the fridge or you didn't have a cooler or something like that. Not entirely sure, but uh, here we go. All right. Wow, look at that. Looks like a musical chime or something. Bring these together, see what happens. <laughs> I totally expected a different sound, like a wind chime. All right, well, they seem pretty meaty. They have this little gap right here, which I'm not sure what the gap is for, but below the gap, they're pretty rock solid and they feel pretty icy cold. I guess, do we have a warm beer? Warm bottle. Okay, all right. Okay, so judging the whole kit here, we do have ourselves a bottle opener that comes with the kit with a magnet. Look at that. Someone was thinking. Nice. Again, you went to a bad liquor store and you bought a warm bottle of beer sitting in the tropics and you're like, man, I could use myself an ice cold beer even though I have a warm one. I also need to have a refrigerator or a freezer nearby to make sure that I have my frozen metal stick to put into my, whoa! Oh, what is happening? Am I supposed to drink out of the top? <laughs> Sorry. I did not expect that. So, you drink it with it in it, okay. Mm. Mm. I think that explains the, the hole near the top maybe. It lets air escape. Mm. It creates a vacuum so that the liquid doesn't come out very easily. And honestly, the, the beer still tastes pretty warm. So, uh, all things considered, extremely niche use case. Uh, I can't imagine a scenario where this would come in particularly useful, but I do appreciate the thoughtfulness. Ice cold beer on a warm sunny day is certainly one of life's greatest pleasures. We are moving on to the perfect black and tan beer layering tool. It says it's as easy as it looks. Instructions, fill the glass, Half full with the bottom beer. Here we go. About half full. Eyeball it. Maybe I went a little above half, but the glass does get wider at the top. Place the tool on top of the beer glass. Gently pour the top beer over the center of the layering tool and let it drip down over the bottom layer. Here we go. 
gently over the center, as gentle as I can possibly do. The perfect black and tan. I'm no judge, but I will leave it up to you, the viewer, to decide if in this glass we've poured the perfect black and tan following the instructions. There you have it, the perfect pour tool. All right, moving on to the next tool. We have ourselves the pop top bottle opener. Pop the top, push down, use in two easy steps. So uh, let, let's see here, let's be critical of this. A bottle opener is one step. Put the bottle opener up to the bottle and you lift, one step. The pop top, you have to push down, pop the top off. Okay, what is in the box? Nick, my friend, we have a bottle there. Sure do. Weinstefan. Left over from the recent Pilsner tasting, which if you have not seen, we will link it down below and on screen. So be sure to check that out. And if you enjoy this type of content, subscribe to the channel. You push down. Oh. That was, that was kind of satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. And what's really nice about this, this I really like quite a bit. If you're a bottle cap collector and you wanna keep the bottle cap in good condition, this may be a great way to do it. It works as advertised and it maintains the integrity of the bottle cap. Pretty cool. Moving on to beer gadget number four. We have the draft top which encourages you to drink topless. Okay. Uh, do we have a can? Oh, we do, Julius. If you guys aren't familiar with Julius, Julius is Treehouse's flagship. Very, very uh, historic beer in the hazy craft beer world and one that we're very proud to offer. Align the can tab with the opening in place. Yeah, so we're aligning the can tab with the opening. Twist can counterclockwise to lock tab. Squeeze handles. Rotate can counterclockwise for at least 360 degrees until the can top stops rotating. Counterclockwise. It says release handles and pull TT off can. Oh, I'm gonna try to, oh, there, we, there it is. All right, made a nice clean edge. There's one little lip right there that might've picked up, which may have been user error. Definitely gonna inspect the lid for any metal fragments, should there be any, but all things considered, We've got ourselves an open, completely open Julius can. Oh God, when was the date code on this? 125, freshy. Tastes absolutely spectacular. That was the draft top, drink topless beer can lid remover. And I thought it was kind of cool. All right, so last but not least, this has been fun so far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Once again, this is an unvarnished look. I've never used these products. If you are the proprietor of these products, I apologize if I'm misusing them, but that's important to know how ordinary people like myself in, interact with products. So last but not least, we have the Sonic Foamer. I'm glad that we saved this one for last because there's a lot of stuff on the label. There's a lot of promises being made. And I can't wait to see what happens. We have ultrasonic foaming technology. Ultrasonic sound has a frequency above the level of human hearing. It creates vibration energy that excites the gases to create beer foam. See, they have a little thing here. Aroma, foam, perfect bubbles, ultrasonic sound, water. The volume of a beer's head can be affected by the beer type, amount of gases present, alcohol content, and other factors. That's a little caveat. How do you use the Sonic Foamer? Okay. Makes beer taste better. Over 75% of what you taste is in a sense 
is in your sense of smell, leave room for the aroma. Oh, okay. So it wants us to underfill the glass so that we have room for the aroma. Makes sense. Okay. Here it is, the Sonic Foamer. I'm gonna turn it this way so you guys can see it here, the front. Use cold beer as beer gas heats up, gas is expanding, could cause possible overflow. Two caveats on the box. Turn on the unit, put tea, two teaspoons of water in the activation tray. So I'm assuming this is measured, two teaspoons, into the activation tray it goes. Look at that. Wow. I want to compare the ultrasonic foaming technology to just pouring a beer into a glass and forming your own head. We're going to see which one makes the most sense. So here we go. We have another beer. This will be the other example, the old school ultrasonic foaming technology on your right and the new school ultrasonic foaming technology by Sonic Foamer. Use cold beer. This beer just came right out of the fridge. It says fill your glass 60% full, which I'm assuming is not to protect your aroma head, which we talked about earlier, but to just prevent it from foaming all over the place. We're gonna try to get as little head on there as possible. So it's at 60% full. That seems about right. We might be closer to 70%, but close enough. So on to the ultrasonic foamer. Again, it doesn't tell me, I guess I'm gonna press the other button. Whoa, what just happened? Whoa, look at that. Whoa, charges it up. It's giving this like little electrical. <laughs> just like the box said. Got your little aroma cloud right here. Got a really nice head of foam. It's interesting, you can see the layers of the ultrasonic technology just clinging to the side of the glass. I'm not gonna lie, I am a sonic foamer convert. If you need a little more foam, just give it a little juice. I kinda like it. Is it practical? No. Is it a fun party trick? I guess. Would I buy one? Probably not. Let's compare it to just good old fashioned pouring a beer into the glass. Little angle, usually 45 degrees. And then as you come up straight down the center, form your head. Took me two seconds. No water involved. I don't know. I'll take the version on the right all, all the time. All right guys, so I had a lot more fun with this trial than I expected. I wanna thank Michael and Nick for having this idea for me to just try random stuff off of Amazon. I don't wanna dissuade entrepreneurs, nor do I wanna bash on these products because there's certainly hardworking, thoughtful people behind them that are trying to introduce something new and exciting into the realm of beer, which we love so much. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Let's do this again sometime.